Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, my name's Caleb. This video will be talking about atomic values. So, atomic values basically just mean that it means that the value stores one thing. Everything we store in a database should be one thing. When we have columns, they're about one thing. All of the values within that column are one thing. We have a column name. Well, what does a name consist of? You can have a first name, middle name, and last name. Well, this Although we're talking about one thing, a name, it's not really necessarily atomic because we're storing three names within one name. So if we wanted to make this atomic, the best thing to do for database design would be to break this up into first name, middle name, and last name. So now we have Caleb, Daniel, Curry. Three separate names. Right? Alright, so when we do store things in a database, we want to go, we want to try to make them atomic. Now, we don't want to go to the extreme where we break everything apart to where it doesn't even make any sense. But uh, just think of like atom. An atom, atomic, when this word came about, we never really split an atom, so. We thought of an atom as the smallest indivisible, indivisible, I think is the word, uh, piece of information in this world. Now we can split it, but uh, whatever. Just So uh, sometimes you may think, that well, this isn't really a good term, but everyone will still use this term. So just think of atomic as the smallest one, one individual thing stored. Now we don't want to go to the extreme. For example, if we have the word subscribe this is a word it's one word don't go to the extreme where we separate it into like word like individual letters because that'd be ridiculous it's like all right uh, we store in a table instead of having first name last name we have first letter of the first name second letter of the uh, first name third letter of the first name fourth letter of the first name that doesn't make sense we want to break it down until we can treat it as one thing. For example, an er uh, a phone number it often has an area code. Well, we don't want to break a phone number up into multiple portions. I often just store phone numbers as one because you treat it as one thing. Um, when, we come, when it comes to addresses, well, an address consists of like multiple we have we have a, a, a street address we have a city and then we have a state we have an, uh, an area code or zip code I mean so addresses I often break those up into multiple columns rather than storing one address with uh, one two three epic Lane, legit California, seven, three, eight, two, one. Rather than storing all of that in one column, I break this up into street address, city, state, area code. And then that allows us to run more complex uh, queries on our data because we can select all of the users from the state of California or we can select all of the users uh, who live in this uh, uh, in this uh, city or pretty much anything like that. So uh, this is part of one of the normal forms which we will be talking about in the future but as for now just think of storing everything as one. So not only do we want the column to be about one thing, like an address is just an address, or a phone number is just a phone number, but we want the values within 
that to be singular as well. For example, we could have a column uh, favorite movies. This isn't going to work because within that column we could store unlimited movies and that is also improper. So that's not going to work as well. Every single column header should be singular. Favorite movie. And you may be asking, well, how would you store multiple movies? Well, that has to do with um, more complex relationships, and that is something we'll be talking about very shortly. But the solution is not to store multiple things within a column. So yeah, uh, that's all I have to say about atomic values. Thank you for watching for this video. If you liked it, please be sure to... That's what's different. <laughs> I knew this scene looked different. I didn't have the light on. Oh, wow. Ah, man. Anyways, thank you for watching. Please be sure to subscribe and click like.